Some people say that love is a battlefield. If that's the case, then the friend zone is like your home base. It's safe and nice and all, but you'll never win much if you stay there. If you're trying to make your way out of the friend zone to conquer some romantic territory with a special someone, there's a few tricks you can try. Maybe you've already tried the tips in my other video how to stop being a nice guy and it didn't seem to get anywhere. If that's the case, your next step is to look for signs that she doesn't like you as more than a friend. It's a last ditch attempt to see if there's any hope for dating this girl. Let's see if she does any of these following things and here's 10 of them. Number 1. She addresses you differently. And I don't mean cute differently, if you're looking for pet names that you feel warm and fuzzy on the inside, you may have to look somewhere else. This girl isn't going to be calling you endearing names like sweetie, honey, or my love. If a girl isn't down to explore romance with you, she'll love to verbalize your friend status by addressing you with bro, buddy, or the ever popular phrase dude. She may even throw in a literal synonym for friend by calling you her pal or mate. And I mean the British version of mate, not the Discovery Channel one. Could it be any more obvious? The more you get to know each other, the more comfortable she should feel addressing you with personal nicknames. If broski is the one she chooses after all of this time, your chances of being called babe are diminishing fast. Number 2. She quickly cuts off people who say you two could be a couple. If you've been trying to make your way to lover's lane with this girl, I'm sure you two have shared moments where you really click. The problem is that these moments can be friends just as much as couples. When your group of mutual friends begin to observe these moments, there will be quite a few friends who will be rooting for you on that love battlefield. If this girl doesn't like you more than a friend though, she is now your opposing enemy and she isn't going to let your friends help you advance. Any comments about how you two would make a cute couple are going to be instantly incinerated by this girl and cut at the roots. She may even add eye rolls or jokingly make a disgusted face to ensure that no one is getting the wrong impression of the two of you. Number 3. She talks to you about other guys she likes. While Cupid may have shot you in the heart with this girl, she might shoot you right in the face when she starts talking to you about other guys. Ouch. No one wants to hear about the love affairs of their crush. The girl may tell you when she meets someone new about the dates she goes on or even about a full on relationship that she developed with another guy. If this girl spills the beans about her love life with you, this is her way of reminding you in a nice way that she is out there dating someone else. Her intention isn't to be mean or hurt you, she just wants to share personal information with a friend but being reminded that you are only her friend. I know this is like pouring salt into a wound, it hurts. Number 4. She's always trying to play matchmaker with you. When we meet a new guy or girl in our lives, we usually decide early on if we could see ourselves dating them or not. First impressions are crucial, but getting to know that person makes even more of a difference. If you've already spent some time with this girl and no moves have been made, she might have made her decision to keep you as a friend long ago. One clear way to show this is when she tries to set you up with a bunch of different people. This girl might push for you to meet her friends, co-workers, or even new acquaintances. You might consistently hear the phrase, you would love her. While you're wishing that the date was with the matchmaker instead of the match, this matchmaker is making it crystal clear that she doesn't like you in that way. If she had a crush on you in any way, she would never want to see you in the arms of another girl, much less set you up. Number 5. She always invites other friends to join your hangouts. Uh, you're thinking romantic date, candle light, a beautiful dinner, a walk on the beach, and then she suddenly invites friends to join. You could plan the cutest date idea ever, but somehow she'll sneak in a few other friends to change it from a romantic one-on-one -on -one date to another casual group hangout. It's not that she doesn't like your romantic ideas, they could be the right up in her alley, but she doesn't want to give you any mixed signals about where she stands with you. And where she stands, my friend, is exactly in that friend zone and no further. And if this constantly happens to you and you realize that you have actually have never hung out with her one-on-one, -on -one, then it's probably saying a lot. 
Number six, she always introduces you as just a friend. There are tons of ways that people can be introduced. You have the formal business introduction, the casual meet John route, or the specific intro where you give a title to the person you're introducing. This could be something like, hey, meet my roommate, or something more intriguing like, this is the guy I've been talking about. Your ears are going to be dying to hear the latter because this way you'll know that you've been on this girl's mind and a topic of her conversation. Sorry to break it to you, bud, but if she instead chooses to introduce you only and exclusively as her friend, you're stuck in the friend zone. But sometimes I could be wrong since most relationships start out as friends. But if it's been like that for years, yeah, you're mostly in the friend zone. Number seven, she's only there when she wants advice, help, or wants to vent. Friendships are great because they offer you the moral and emotional support you need during tough times. Of course, this should be a two-way street. If you find that that special girl of yours only appears for not so special moments and doesn't care much otherwise, you may be getting the short end of the stick. While she is treating you like a buddy, she might not even reciprocate the bare minimum back to you. If you need someone to lean on, look elsewhere. She might have an excuse and be unavailable. Contrary to how it sounds, this doesn't mean that she is a bad friend. She is simply setting her limits so that you don't see her as being too friendly or too caring towards you. She doesn't want you to get the wrong idea because she truly doesn't like you any more than a friend. Number eight, sometimes the conversations are short and dull. We have a lot of names for when two people vibe with one another. Chemistry, a spark, an instant connection. These are intense feelings we feel early on, and these feelings are what keeps the relationship going and growing. When there's a spark between two people, the conversation flows like a river. There are few awkward pauses, if any, and it seems like the two of you are always dying to talk to each other again. If your conversations with this girl don't sound like this description, you might be stuck in the dull end of the friendship spectrum. Friends have great chats too, but it's natural that it dies out now and again and you lack things to talk about. Depending on how she continues the conversation, you know if she's feeling that spark or if, instead, she's feeling like yawning when talking to you. Number 9. She gets grossed out when you make any romantic comments. If you have had your eyes on this girl, I am going to guess that you've already made a couple of attempts to get her attention. Maybe you've thrown her a few compliments, planned a date, or more dangerously, even put yourself out there enough to tell her a little about how you feel. How did she respond? Did she avoid it or get grossed out by it? Her getting grossed out could be as clear as saying, bro, you're like a brother to me. Or in a more likely situation, she might have rolled her eyes, shrugged it off, or laughed about the whole thing to make it less serious and awkward. If she gets grossed out by your romantic comments or gestures, it's a clear sign that she's just not that into you. Number 10. She gives you the verbal best friend ever award. While she might throw you a bunch of subtle signs that she isn't interested, there is another clear and loud way to tell you. We call this the best friend ever award. No, you're not getting an actual trophy or certificate, but you'll be hearing loudly and often how great of a friend you are. At first, this is going to warm your heart and pump your ego a little bit. An amazing friend, a great support, and a fun guy to be with. Yeah, that's you. What's under the surface of this little title though is that your position is almost permanent. You're a 10 year best friend forever. The contract is signed and unending. This could be the peace treaty for the love battlefield. You may have lost the battle, but did you really lose the war? I'm going to give you some hope here. In the long run, sometimes people marry their best friends. So yeah, I'm just saying. But overall, sometimes in war, we have to cut and accept our losses. The same is true with relationships. The most you can do is try your best to make a romantic connection with this girl. If you've put in genuine effort with her, but she has little to show for it, it's time to pack up your bags and move on. Accept the signs that in this moment, she just doesn't like you more than a friend. Now things do change and who knows, the girl might even do a 180 down the line. 
but you can't just sit around and wait for someone forever. As a silver lining, you made a good friendship during all of this, and this is something that you can continue to have and grow. Stay true to yourself and you will find the right person for you. Now it's time to get out there and cast your line. There are plenty of other fish in the sea, but do let me know what you find. And if you like this, feel free to give it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more weekly uploads to help you out. I'll catch y'all later. Bye!